Hello, friends, and welcome to episode four of my anti-skiller progress video thing. So in the last episode, right at the end, I said what I wanted to do was do some Barrows runs as soon as I was able to do that. And so what I did was I bought a couple of, like, I bought ancient robes, I bought a bunch of stuff, and I had, I have now 59 magic as I, I'm pretty sure I got that in the last episode, but I have 59 magic now, so I headed straight to Barrows, and we, uh, we didn't really get so lucky there. Our first loot, as you will, uh, see here, complete shit, as, uh, as you do when you go to Barrows, and then I did, I believe, two more chests, which... Got me to three total, of course. One plus two is three. And from there, uh, still complete shit. Just a bunch of runes, as always, and my luck at Barrows has never been good. And so with making no money at Barrows and spending money on runes, our money stack was actually lowering. So we ended up going back to Green Dragons to try and make a little bit more money to go to Barrows. And I stayed there for a little bit, just training my range up, until I eventually got PK'd and... I hate getting PK. This is like the fourth time I've been PK'd on this account because I'm out in the wilderness a lot for whatever reason. It's either green dragons or lava dragons or whatever. I'm just getting PK'd left and right. So I was like, fuck this. We're going to go back to what I enjoy and we're going to go train some strength and attack on minotaurs while getting easy clues. And so the first easy clue we did, we added yet another studded body to my awesome studded body collection. Eventually I plan on having like 2,000 of these in my bank just from straight fucking easy clues. And then right after that, junk as per usual. And then after that, junk as per usual. And then after that, I actually got something. It was a Magic Amulet T, which helps me in no way whatsoever, and it's only worth a little bit. So, I mean, that was pretty cool to get that, but, you know, it's always cool to get one of those unique items, but didn't really help my cash pile all that much. So from there, we headed back to Barrows, and still, uh, I believe I did another three chests, and got shit as you do every single fucking time. And so after I went there, um... I encountered this guy named Brian, and I was just, I was AFKing kind of in the, uh, in the bank, and I noticed this guy kept following every female character that he was, like, in the vicinity of, and so, I was like, this guy is over here trying to mac on the honeys, and he didn't get really far at all. <laughs> I just thought it was a funny fucking random encounter that I had. I always have those on this game, and sometimes I'll just fucking record it just to see what happens. This guy just kept falling around women, and he just, man, he needs to watch some of my, uh, my Valentine's Day Mackin' on the Honeys videos. Maybe he'll learn a thing or two from me. But after Brian Mackin' on the Honeys, we, uh, went back to Barrows, and still, chest 7, shit, chest 8, shit, chest 9, also shit. But we did get 60 magic, and, um, when you do get 60 magic, of course you want to go get your, um, your, uh, the level 60 capes, or the god capes or whatever. And, um, so I went and did the God Cape minigame where you kill that one dude in the mage arena. And I, uh, I decided to go with the Ceredoman Cape. Normally I get the Guthix Cape, but then later on in the game I realized that doesn't help me out at all because it doesn't give me anything for God Wars. So I decided to go with the Ceredoman Cape this time. I don't like Ceredoman at all. I'm sure some of you know my favorite god is Zaros, as you can see by my ancient robes. And then my second favorite would be Guthix, but... Neither of those helped me out in any way for God Wars, so unfortunately we had to go with Sarah Doman. And, um, so yeah, we got that, which, you know, gives a nice little boost to my magic. From there, we headed back to Minotaurs, just trying to train up a little bit more combat. But, um, we just did, as always, you know, the couple clue scrolls that we got. And, of course, uh, I did end up getting 50 strength, which is a pretty nice milestone. Halfway to 99, so that's always good. And, uh, just did a couple more clues. Of course, didn't really get shit. And then um, after a little bit, you know, I ended up realizing that I had 200k in the bank, so I bought me a Brine Saver, which will help out a lot for training because it's a little bit better than the Rune Scimitar. And so now, currently, we're just here grinding away at fucking Minotaurs, trying to get that strength and attack up. It sucks because one thing that I've that I found that is very hard on this account is making money. It's very difficult. I really have only like two ways of making money. Well, three, which is Barrows, when I if I ever get an item. And then there's um, Green Dragons, which is kind of slow because I'm low combat. And then there's Easy Clues. And none of them really make very good money. And it sucks because eventually I want to be able to get a Fire Cape. And in order to get a Fire Cape, you need quite a bit of money. And uh, I'm also going to need a lot of a lot of uh, money for training range. And unfortunately, just funds are very difficult to come by. And if you guys could think of any suggestions for me to make money, I... 
I all I've come up with is the easy clues, the barrows and green dragons. Please help me out. I would love for you guys to be able to help me out because it's getting very difficult. And um, I just, I want to, you know, get all these goals like fire cape eventually. And getting a fire cape would be very difficult because I will have to get 70 range. Because I don't want to use like a regular crossbow and waste all these bolts and stuff. Because it'll be very expensive. So I want to get a Carol's crossbow to be able to go for the fire cape. That's pretty much all for this week. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video as always. And I hope I will see you in the next one.